What's up everyone, welcome to the channel and to a new video. So many of you already heard that there is a new update to Android 10 on Samsung phones. Since I happen to have an S10, I decided maybe it's a good idea to get into it. So as you can see here, I have a software update available. and it's clearly showing here that it's based on Android 10. So let's give it a few minutes and uh, we'll get into the details. Okay, now that the update has finished, let's go into the main changes of Android 10. I will first show you guys that the software update was completed. As you can see here, we have Android version 10. Here it is. Successfully, successfully installed. So as you can see, I already activated the, the uh, dark mode which is fine and this should also help in uh, saving some battery life around 10% I guess but there are some things that I don't like so much like for example the search bar now is black you cannot choose that if you choose the black uh, the dark mode and also Google Keep unfortunately is kind of black we'll uh, simply show you where it is accessible so it should be in the um, yeah here in display dark mode very quickly you can enable and disable it this was already available but I think it didn't work everywhere now it's native um, in Android 10 so yeah it's better supported something else cool about the tar the dark mode is that you can have also additional uh, information you have additional settings so when you want to turn it on so you can turn it on uh, now on demand you can turn on a schedule so for example sunset or sunrise you can use a custom schedule starting and end time then you can also apply uh, to wallpaper and uh, yeah, adaptive color filter so this is already activated for me so everything works really good uh, let's start saying that we have an hidden uh, screen recorder and focus mode in the quick settings so if we go here screen recorder you can choose uh, no sound media sound media sounds and mic and you can start recording right now I will probably do a quick check let's see how it works and this is a test using the integrated uh, screen recorder everything seems to work fine from here you can also look at yourself that's me I'm looking awesome as always that's it amazing functionality integrated something else that we can immediately see as soon as we reveal all the quick settings is that we have an additional uh, row here an additional line at the bottom since uh, they decreased the clock so we have more space available we can fit more stuff into the different pages 
uh, something else uh, is the incoming calls. It can be resized. So by going to the settings, you have uh, this uh, call display while using apps. So you have the full screen mode, which is um, similar to what Apple has. That is basically useless because you cannot use in the background other uh, programs. Pop-up, so you just have a small pop-up on the top and you can still use in the, the background uh, programs you have. And mini pop-up even more reduced. You have also this option for keep calls in pop-up. Uh, apart from that, uh, we also have something changing here in the um, brightness. Brightness below is a little bit different, so if you click on it, there is this animation and the uh, bar gets uh, thicker as soon as you use the slider. Another big change is the camera UI, which is now cleaner. Um, basically some icons have been revisited, like for example this front facing camera, the change of camera. Something else that changed is also yeah, all the different uh, uh, modes are a little bit uh, bigger as you can see here. So they are better readable and they also um, added this more functionality where you can basically drag and drop everything that you don't use so much and uh, yeah this has a double uh, benefit in my opinion because first of all you only see here in the um, slider uh, only let's say the modes that you use mostly on top of that uh, by clicking on more you can quickly access uh, all the other uh, modes that you probably don't use so often also the night mode has been uh, enhanced we can probably look at that uh, by uh, going into the pro mode so if we go into the pro mode iso the maximum iso now is incremented uh, is uh, increased to 3200 yeah also the maximum uh, aperture is uh, up to 30 now 30 seconds so that's also been increased Something else that changed is obviously the gestures that we can find, I think, in the... Uh, navigation bar. So in the navigation bar, now you can see that we have two modes. So navigation buttons and full screen gestures but in full screen so this is basically as uh, it was in the previous version as well but if you click here you have an additional mode so swipe sides uh, and bottom um, i was using this mode in the previous version uh, and honestly it was quite good because it will also allow me to switch uh, back and forward between the last two apps very quickly kind of the alt tab functionality in windows so you basically press in the middle, slide on the right, and then slide again on the right in order to go from one um, app to the other, so switching among the last two. Now this is not possible in any of these two, or at least I wasn't able to find the possibility. So that's really disappointing. So basically now it's um, kind of uh, the same gesture functionality that we have in uh, Apple and uh, in my opinion the android the previous android gesture had uh, something more which is unavailable now something interesting is also the possibility to switch into one-handed uh, operation mode simply by sliding down so here i'm already using uh, one-handed uh, functionality uh, you can access some options from here or you can simply go back clicking on the black area so that's really convenient uh, functionality they introduced uh, what else we have we have change of color for uh, folders so as soon as you click uh, on here when you want to change uh, a color you have a preview on the top which is very convenient you can also choose among all these uh, different 
custom colors. Something useful I also found is the possibility to change uh, the edge for uh, lighting. So um, basically this functionality was also available uh, in Android uh, 9 but here we have some additional uh, styles so if we click here we have edge lighting bubble multicolor this is the glow glitter simply RGB going on all around eclipse Pico and spotlight also you can choose whatever you like and customize it further so you can choose the color and you can also uh, customize that by app advanced you can choose transparency width and uh, duration that's all so let's look at the codes we have an additional uh, tab here which wasn't available initially in my at least in my phone maybe it's something that needed to be activated manually now you have places where you can basically you have all the places nearby you based on your gps location and you can immediately call them you can also choose among the categories very convenient feature we have also new revisited calculator app so yeah, basically it's a little bit more rounded i don't know if you can see that because it's all dark um, there are no changes in the edge panels here as far as i can see the only thing that you need to worry about is that in case you have the um, let's say the the clipboard also activated here then everything will disappear as soon as you update to this new uh, version so keep that in mind apart from that i think uh, i didn't see any major changes there are also some changes into the samsung um, message app which i don't use at all so yeah you can read about the changes online but uh, honestly nothing major some changes are also visible in the device care section should be here so basically everything you now is more clear and um, more tidy we also have some additional information on the battery usage which is very convenient can also find an additional feature when we try to change to a wallpaper so now everything is more uh, clean you don't have uh, uh, this page automatically opening so that's very convenient and on top of that uh, you also have uh, wallpaper services where you can uh, activate dynamic lock screen which is basically the possibility to use a different image every time you lock the screen. This is something that I think was already available in the previous version, but uh, yeah, you, it was in a different location. So I hope you guys found this uh, interesting. Let me know in case you're already updated to Android 10. Let me know what are your impressions, if you have any suggestions. Or anything I missed and uh, thumbs up if you like the video and please make sure to subscribe below and support me thank you